what's up everyone Alvin Alexa here and in today's video we are going to see the five ways iPhone 12 could silence Android smartphones yeah again Apple silencing Android smartphone manufacturers with its new formidable flagship in case you didn't know iPhone 12 is set to arrive in October this year if the rumors are true there have been a ton of leaks after leaks after leaks for the flagship of course like it offering 5g speeds and also you can expect a 130 hz refresh rate of display i mean that sounds great counting down to number five i have the iphone 12 shipping a much faster processor and as i've recorded this video the A13 Bionic chip inside the amazing iPhone 11 and the iPhone SE 2020 remains the fastest chip after the Snapdragon 865 processor which debuted in Samsung Galaxy S20. Here comes the monster among men, the new A14 Bionic 5 nanometer chip slated for the amazing device which is rumored by some trusted sources that it might even rival the performances of the MacBook Pro. I mean like seriously? Now I'm not so sure what iPhone is most feared competitor Samsung is cooking behind closed curtains. But at least we know their next flagship which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Again don't expect a bigger upgrade for their processor. I mean the Note 20? yeah either than my future snapdragon 865 which is also found in the samsung galaxy s20 or a slight new snapdragon 865 plus with some couple of modest clock speed boost but anyways whatever processor many android flagships will use Expect the A14 Bionic chip to blow away all Android phones once again. Now counting down to number 4 on the list, I have iOS 14. You know what's more funny? Android manufacturers always have to wait to get the latest operating system from Google, which gives an advantage to Apple and if you've been following most of their phone announces every new iphone they roll out comes with the latest and greatest software another key difference which is gonna set ios 14 apart is that this time round it's gonna have several new features that gonna make the iphone 12 more brand new even though the update will be available to older phones too and this expected iOS 14 features the new multitasking interface, new list view for apps on the home screen and as an Apple user personally I would like to see this change of display of apps on my home screen plus the ability to set your own default apps finally this is going to be amazing so you should expect a new fitness app that is going to integrate with apple watch series 6 and other older apple watches of course and this new other ar app which is called gobi that is going to work with qr codes to make shopping much more easier than before in fact in terms of software apple has got the best software it's ineligible i don't know if that's the right word to use in english it has the best software better than google's os and uh yeah counting down to number three on the list comes a better camera and smart features compared to android's offerings this is not about the hardware most manufacturers of android smartphones use so far the best android smartphone with the best camera is samsung galaxy s20 ultra but however good it was many youtubers and bloggers have talked about it having trouble in focusing images and good news is that 
Apple can never stand still on camera front, trust me. So expect the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max to feature a three times optical zoom which is gonna match another powerful Android smartphone which is the Note 20. Now if you don't know this, iPhones are always not heavily equipped with the best camera systems compared to most of the Android smartphone flagships. But guess what? They always tend to score high on DxO mobile benchmarks which is a site where they make tests on smartphones to find out which is the best with the camera. Uh, if you'd like to visit this website, I'm gonna link it below so that you go and see it for yourself. And uh, in addition with a new sensor to ship image stabilization technology on this smartphone is ultra wide lens. This is gonna be good for the iPhone and uh, also you should expect improved smart HDR performance which taps into the Apple's A-series chips and computational smart photography. Getting down to number 2, I have the iconic beautiful design with the new iPhone 12. I expect to turn more heads to it, the design which is said to be hacking back to the iPhone 5, I can't wait to see it, I won't lie. The iPhone 5 is a compact device which I still even use to this time. Great camera of course, great design, though not receiving updates for new software as anymore. Anyway, the design of the iPhone 12 is said to be flatter on edges and have a squared off corners. But the overall design is also said to be thinner too. Plus finally, Apple is going to shrink the notch of, of the screen. And with tablet smartphones becoming more and more popular this year, I can't wait to see how compact and powerful the iPhone 12 is gonna be. And finally, at number one comes the LiDAR advantage. As with the iPad Pro 2020, the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max are expected to future new LiDAR sensor. In short, think about it as a beefed up time of flight sensor. If you want to know more about the LiDAR scanner, the, everything about it, I explained more and more about it in my iPad Pro 2020 video which is going to be linked in the description below and also appear in the end screens but this sensor you should know that it can map an entire room instantly which will provide and boost animated reality apps so this lighter is set to an edge when it comes to advanced portraits and video effects but anyway, that was it in today's video and don't forget to smash the like button if you think this video was informative. And I wanna know what was your favorite like, did I left out anything? Leave me down, let me know in the comments, leave down a comment and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this cause that inspires me more like to create more content for you and anyway. That was it in today's video and uh, don't forget to check out my two other YouTube videos which are going to be appearing on the end screens and with that said, 